Okay. And I have everyone ever made. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. So the majority of the collection that you guys are seeing behind me, I have primarily gotten at secondhand shops like garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores. I absolutely love collecting the nostalgic pieces from my past, from my childhood, but it's not fun to me to just get on eBay, to get online and buy it. I like to find this stuff out in the wild. And today we are going to quite possibly one of the most unique flea markets I have ever been to. As you guys can see, it is a it is a very unique building. Apparently, in some way, form, or fashion, this building was used as a military bunker, or parts of it were. I don't know exactly how that worked, uh, but I was talking to the owner, and I was like, man, tell me a little bit about this building, and she said that it was used as, as part of a military bunker. But as you can see, it is a very unique building. But, but more than that, there's also nostalgic gold inside of this flea market. Last time we, we came here, we found games, we found toys, we found a bunch of different things to add to the collection, and today is no different. We're about to get into it, but before we do, if you do love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia, everything from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, do me a favor and hit that friggin' subscribe button. Every single Monday and Thursday, we're coming out with new retro nostalgic type content, and I don't want you guys to miss it. Let's get into it. All right, remember, this is the place that has a farmer's market. They got fresh fruit, I think, fruit and vegetables. Zucchini and squash for six bucks. Hey, man, gives us some squash and some uh, PlayStation games, baby. Yeah? All right, we got some old books. Hats and bears, okay. Some old school Sesame Street. Oh, look at that. Look at this wow. rescuer's book, man. Oh, look at this. So, if you're too young, and, and you've never seen this before, basically, we'd have old cassettes, and we would listen to the book like this, a, a storybook. This child is learning and loving it. She's hearing a story, and she's reading it at the same time. Dramatized stories, music of the great masters, and beautiful read-along books. I love that. I'm going to pick this up. I love it. 220, 225 for that. Is good. And we got some Jungle Book. Not as intrigued by that one. And here is Cinderella. These are neat, man. I had these back in the day. I had a Winnie the Pooh one that I listened to every night, every night before bed. Here are a bunch more books. Let's see. These are like just children's books. My son, my son has that book. Yeah, nothing in here I'm really interested in looking at. Let's go back over here real quick. I skipped this one. Puppy mugs. Looks like some picture frames and books and stuffed animals all looking the exact same. I don't know what those are. Where are those? We are we are hunting for nostalgia and we found it in the form of a coffee pot maker thing. It's kind of cool. Retro inspired, but newer. So far, lots of just antique -y type things. So this is actually a booth that uh, I saw last time that I really liked. Tons of stuff that I am into. So down here, got a bunch of baseball, basketball cards sealed. People are doing that like crazy. Uh, just selling, selling cards, new cards in their flea market booths. Look at this, Toon Squad uh, shirt. And it looks like you get something else in that. Whole bunch more cards. These are yeah, those are new as well. Then you actually move in and you see uh, here's a baseball card trivia game. So that's somewhat interesting. And then just a ton of cards. The card market. I don't know when you're watching this, but it was insane probably four or five months ago. It has definitely dipped down, but 
there's still a, a huge market for it. Look at that. Look at that MJ. Dude, basketball cards in the 80s and 90s. Well, really the 90s. I was more of a 90s kid, but. Here is a mystery one. It includes one full card. So mystery little pack of cards, Pokemon cards. There are some older cards in here, I think. Uh, this looks older, but obviously 30 cents, but not really interested in that either. Ton of Beanie Babies. What do they want for Beanie Babies? $3. They're retired? Well, I would hope so. I don't think they're making these. I don't see the... Um, Michael Jordan Pogs that were here last time. There was a little thing of Michael Jordan Pogs that I debated getting, but ended up not. Opted out. Here are a couple games. You got NBA Street. This would be a pretty good buy at around five or less. And it is eight, eight bucks. Fusion Frenzy is actually a great game. And it is eight as well. So we'll pass on those. They're utilizing this space very well in this little section. I don't know what's in here, but it is packed. It is packed with stuff, but I don't see much. Oh, here's something. Here is a, one of those, I think like a fishing, singing fishing uh, little guys you put up on the wall. I've never seen this one, Travis, the singing trout. I've never seen this one before. I don't know how much it is, but I gave you, or I gave you guys that heads up before on the Billy Big Mouse Bass. Those sell really well, so be on the lookout. I, I don't even know how much that is worth or anything, but kind of cool to see. Here is a, oh, yo. Oh, don't break. Don't break. Everything's falling. Do you guys remember these? You would like wind it up. Let me see if it works. Y'all, it's working. This thing is super old. That's pretty cool, man. Kids nowadays would think this is dumb, but groundbreaking technology back then. Would not be a trip to the flea market without seeing some M&M stuff. The old M&M football. Something. Oh, hey buddy. <laughs> you found a pup. Oh, you're pretty. Here's a sweet pup. Star Trek something or other. All right, what we got in here? A bunch of movies. Uh, Willy Wonka, y'all. I love this movie so much. Pretty creepy, but it's good. I like it. All right, found a bunch of games. So we got Lucky. Okay, the dog's name is Lucky. If you ask, if y'all want to know, uh, we got Rock Band, Skylanders, Giants. And look at all these. Two K is just, just sitting here, man. No one cares. Finding Nemo, a classic on the PS2, right? whole crap ton of Bill Clinton buttons. Huh? Huh? Anybody want those? Al Gore and Bill Clinton? Somebody out there collects those, I bet. Obviously, there's a collection right here. And then here are... Yo, it's sealed, guys. It's sealed. I'm definitely getting this graded. America's Test Kitchen. Okay, well, if anybody wants two sealed America Test Kitchens, here they are. Cartridge based games. Hey, hey, hey. And what do you know? Madden 99. Please, no! Madden 2000. No! Madden 64. No! This is what you're seeing nowadays. That's about all you're going to see in terms of cartridge based games, unfortunately. There is so much Bill Clinton stuff in here. You got Bill and you got Hillary. Kind of creepy. No, not kind of. Very, very creepy. Unfortunately, gonna pass on all of the games in this section. Uh, Lucky, what are you doing? Lucky just completely lost it, guys. Couple games, couple games. We happy few. Sealed! Anybody know anything about this? Huh. Maybe I'll look that up, I don't know. And then another sealed game, NHL 20. And pass. Bunch of makeup, nail polish, and a few games. Got a few games over here. Rainbow Six, uh, Agent of Mayhem, Phantom Menace. People hate on this Star Wars movie. I actually liked it. 
get the kid from Jamal all the way. Come on. There appears to be one lone Smurf toy. How much are you? Five bucks for a Smurf toy. Any Smurf fans out there? Or collectors? I actually don't know any Smurf collectors, but I'm sure there, there is a following for Smurf stuff. This looks, this looks interesting. The old Garfield, Garfield hurt arm little piece. This place is a copyright nightmare. Everywhere there's music playing. All right, here are a ton of DVDs. Price at 150, so that's not bad. Always on the hunt for you know 80s and 90s movies that I that I love that I used to watch. You got Waterworld. Let's see what else is in here. Into the Blue. So nothing so far. Ooh, I do, I do love this movie, and I don't have it. Airheads. It's not easy to break into the music business. You guys are a unsigned band and you broke into the radio station to get your demo played on the air? <laughs> I just feel a little goof but a water piss. They don't know it's a water pistol, they think it's real. Airheads. Adam Sandler, Brendan Fraser. All right, gonna get this. Well, let's make sure it's in there, in there first. It is in there, okay. Got us a movie, Airheads, for $1.50. Not bad. Let's see what else is in here. I don't see, I don't see anything else. So we get just Airhead. You guys know I'm getting a little more into comics. Dude, that is cool. Dude, I've never seen these before. Look at that artwork, man. That is stellar. All right, let's see. Let's see if there's anything in here. I like that one. I like all three of these, actually. Which one would y'all pick? For some reason, this one is speaking to me a lot, but I love that one. Let's figure this out. This one. This one has my heart. Hey, there's the owner. Hey, Tammy. Hey, how are you? How are you? I'm good. Good. I'm just, I'm just record, I'm just recording again. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Uh, that Doctor Strange one is sick. Return of the Jedi. Twenty. That I'm actually tempted by that one. A bunch of new toys. Eh. And let, uh, with new toys, unless it like connects to the stuff that I used to watch or I used to collect for, I'm just not really interested, so. There are some uh, chocolates here. Kit Kats, Hershey's, why, I don't know. Ooh, old cassettes, heart. Only cassette I think I have is my Space Jam cassette. I love seeing this. I love seeing 50% off everything, but everything good is gone. All right, I'm seeing some uh, figures over here. Star Wars figures for eight bucks. This doesn't seem bad. I mean, I don't know what any of these are worth or if they're good or anything, but 650? We got there. Got Princess Leia, 18 bucks. They seem to be in really good shape. Oh, here's a big one. Whoa, look at that. Death Star Joy 40. Got some, some Star Wars fans out there going right now with these. Uh, here's a Luke Skywalker from 1983. I mean, those are in really, really good shape. At least it appears to be. I'm just to toys being played with my son and they're destroyed. But those are pretty cool. Hey, my daughter-in-law's gonna be getting out my box of all my Nintendo games. I mean, I have all the old square cartridges. Okay. And I have everyone they ever made. What? All the old Nintendo. So, are you gonna try to try to sell? I probably will. I might holler at you to give me like, a, you know, what you think they might be worth. Yeah. Because I've got every game. I wanted to cut in real quick to talk about the situation that is at hand. So we're talking to the owner of the flea market and she said she had found all of her old Nintendo games, cartridge square games, I think is what she said. Um, now here's the thing, we don't know exactly what she has found um, because I've had the situation happen over and over again to where it sounds perfect. It sounds like the jackpot of all jackpots. I show up and it's a bunch of old Atari games. You just don't know. But I've also had the reverse happen to where I thought this is probably not even worth my time 
I show up and it is a huge mega score. So you just don't know. Um, she said she has all of them also. Who knows? We don't know. But this is exactly why you build relationships, connections with people. First off, just because it's a good human thing to do is to be nice and, and to build friendships with people. But um, this is why you network. You don't know what you're going to find. So um, she does have my number and I have her number. So I'm going to check in with her, bug her about this uh potentially complete NES uh, collection. But for now, let's get back into it and cross our fingers that, that she does have all these games. Have my number? I see, of course, okay. it's in my phone. Yeah, I would be super interested. Yeah, they're in her storage and she's, uh, I told her, get them out of there. Um, God, I've had them for years. Okay, well, let me know. Okay, so I passed last time on that ET with a robe. I will not pass this time, I gotta have him. He looks awesome, man. A bunch of cool stuff in here. All these old Mickey, Minnie, Disney figures. And then there is another Pee Wee. How much is Pee Wee? I can't see. I can't see how much he is, but this case is 25% off. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that ET isn't too much, but still, I don't care at this point. I just want him. Then over here, you got some vintage Furbies. Kind of, kind of dirty, not dirty, dingy looking. Oh my gosh, look at this. A strawberry shortcake lamp. <laughs> That's cool, man. I don't know what this is. Like, I don't know what, it's like little gel. I don't know what kind of material it is, but it's pretty cool looking. Oh yeah, I forgot. The craft room. Oh, it feels so nice. It's just dead silent here. All right, let's go upstairs and see see what is up there. So far, not a ton. There was a booth somewhere up here that had some pretty cool stuff last time. Was it here? I thought it was right here, but they are not, they are not here anymore. So that stinks. Maybe it is someplace else. Is that a Betty Spaghetti? Is that what it was called? I don't know. Maybe it's that. No, it's a La, La Loopsie? I don't know. I think we are about done. I'm gonna go pick up that ET figure and we got some stuff to talk about. She, uh, when I say she, the owner, said she found all of her uh, her Nintendo games and she's gonna reach out to me whenever she finds them out of storage. And maybe, maybe we'll get some games at some point, but for now I'm gonna pick up this stuff, gonna check on that ET and I might look at that one uh, Star Wars uh, comic as well. I think Return of the Jedi, so meet you back in the game room. All right, guys, let's get into these pickups. I think we ended up getting all of this stuff for like 13 bucks. There were there were discounts on a bunch of the different booths. So we actually got quite a bit off on each item. So the first thing we got is this uh, book and tape rescuers book. I absolutely love these back in the day. I feel like the ones I uh, can most recall are like the Winnie the Pooh ones. I think I had like three or four of those actually had a Transformers one at one point, I believe, but this one is uh, songs from the film. Okay, it's just the Rescuers movie. I thought it was like maybe a specific one. And on the back, you're looking at Bambi. So I don't see these too terribly often, but I have great nostalgic memories of these. And I have a boombox cassette player that I'm gonna start reading these uh, with my kids and my son, he will really enjoy this. Also, shout out to the Rescuers, always love this movie. Next up, we have a 90s comedy classic, guys. Airheads. I love this friggin' movie. Brendan Fraser, Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler in his heyday. I mean, he was coming up with so many uh, great movies uh, back in the day. I'm a musician, so I, I already kind of connect to it, and I love these stupid 90s comedy movies. But I actually did not have this on DVD. Uh, I'm gonna need some more space, guys, because now my movie collection is kind of like toppling over into the game section VHS. I gotta find some more space for sure, but did not have Airhead. I think this was ended up being half off for $1.75. So apparently I am the comic book guy now. I, I did not intend to be, but here we are guys. It is a slow fade, uh, but I picked up this Transformers comic book. We ended up getting this for like, I think five bucks. Uh, and I don't see Transformers ones very often. 
and they have this one's a little different it's not like a comic book it just has all of the different uh, transformers in it and it tells you a little bit about each one so there's not like a storyline or anything so this this one's a little bit different than your, your typical comic book I guess uh, but the colors are awesome I loved how it looked on the front there was two or three of them ended up going with this one but a dollar 25 back in the day I'm assuming this is like mid 80s but our very first Transformers comic to add to the collection and our last pickup and probably my favorite is this ET figure in the robe y'all this is like next level within like toy collecting but man this is awesome and it's actually a little bubble bath holder and the bubble bath is still in there I can smell it it is super strong smelling but this is cool I did not even realize it was a bubble bath thing until they handed it to me and I was like why is this swishing around oh oh I see exactly what's happening uh, I will not be taking a bubble bath with this uh, I think that would be a little scary uh, a little scary 1983 Avon this is exactly the kind of stuff that I like to collect I know me and um, Riff from Pixel Game Squad are always kind of talking back and forth uh, and just kind of showing each other our, our pickups we like the weird stuff He's the same way. We like the things that most people aren't thinking about collecting for. Nobody is thinking about collecting for this ET bubble bath holder, but man, I love it. The thing I love most about it is it legit feels like a figure. It doesn't feel like really cheap plastic where it would like bend or anything like that. This is like sturdy stuff, man. So this is gonna go great on the ET shelf. Guys, as always, thank you for hanging out, uh, for watching the video. I wanna know from you guys, what was your favorite thing? that we found or that I missed. I always miss things and you always uh, help me uh, track down those items. Sometimes I even go back and try to find those things uh, that I did miss, but, but mine was definitely the ET figure. Guys, until next time, peace.